Hey there, everybody. Welcome to In the Kitchen with Tally Faye. Hope everybody's having them a good Sunday afternoon. It's nice and hot here, but we're staying inside and keeping cool and resting today. Uh, while I'm in here, y'all know I got to be piddling around in the kitchen doing something, right? So uh, I got in here, I had some uh, bananas that I had thrown in the freezer. It, and I do that, y'all. If I have some bananas left over in a bunch, I just take them whole in the skins and I'll put them in a Ziploc baggie, in a gallon Ziploc baggie, and just put them in the freezer whole. And when I get ready to use them, they're ready for me to use in a bread and stuff, see? I've got them like that. I just, you can just take them. The, the one thing I do, do though, when I freeze them like that, I'll let them, I'll lay them out and let them thaw out. And uh, then I'll take them and I'll put them in, I'll do this, y'all. I'll put them like in one of these strainers in a bowl and plop them off in there and let that, because they've been frozen, they'll have water in them. So just let that water kind of drain out of them. And then you'll have your bananas ready and you just take them and squish them up and you got your mashed bananas ready to cook with. And they are very, very, very sweet once you've frozen them like that. It makes all that sugar come out in them, right? So anyway, that's just a one of the tally fate things that I do. But I had my leftover bananas in there, my frozen bananas. So I got those out and I wanted to make up these uh, little loaves of bread today. And y'all, this is a, um, it's a cranberry banana nut bread, okay? I have, I've got me some, uh, I had some cranberries in the freezer, right? And I always try to have me some nuts. These are walnuts. Y'all know I'm a walnut girl. I like the walnuts. And this is also, it's made with brown sugar in it. So that gives it a, a different kind of taste too. So anyway, I'm going to make these up. And it's made for making one of those big regular loaves, y'all. But I've got me three of these, these little pans. I don't know if it's going to make two of them or three of them. But anyway, I just got them sprayed. It calls for putting... It says spray your pan and put parchment paper in there and let it hang over the side so that when you get ready to take them out, you can just lift them out. I have some parchment paper, but I'm not going to waste it and put it, putting it in all three of these pans, y'all. I'm just that kind of tight, right? We're just going to spray these pans and bake it in there like that. I just now this year started using parchment paper, remember? I do like it, though. Anyway, we're going to make little loaves with it. But the first thing we got to get started on with it is my oven is preheated preheating on 350 okay so i got my oven preheating i got all my stuff out here ready to go oh i wanted to tell y'all i gotta tell y'all about this before we get started okay it calls for two cups of all-purpose flour right you know that i always tell you about the self-rising flour y'all that's what i have in here is my self-rising flour. That's what I'm using today. So therefore, I don't have to use the baking powder that goes in this recipe. So I, that's omitted for me because it's in my flour already. But I will tell you that it calls for two cups of all-purpose flour, and you will need a teaspoon of baking powder in there if you don't have the self-rising, okay? So whatever you gotta do to make that work, I just, love using the self-rising and I ain't got to worry about that. That's one less thing I have to worry about, right? So I have two cups of my self-rising flour that I'm going to put in this bowl and I have to, I'm going to whisk together my three dry ingredients, which are my flour. I have a half a teaspoon of salt that I'm going to put in there and a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, okay? So we're just going to take that and put it in this bowl right here. Two cups of my self-rising flour, a half a teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, okay? So we're gonna take that, we're just gonna kinda whisk that together a little bit. Ain't gotta be nothing special, just kinda get it stirred together a little bit. Okay? done. There we go. Okay, we're going to set that to the side. Now, the next thing we're going to do, I have two cups 
of mashed bananas. Okay, let me turn it up just a little bit. I think I can do that. Okay, two cups of my mashed bananas. And put them in there. All right. The next thing I have is a half a cup of vegetable oil, y'all. I use canola oil, but anyway, half a cup of your vegetable oil. There's a few of them bananas left in there. I want every little bite. There we go. I've seen them sliding down the edge of it slowly. Caught my eye. <laughs> okay. Also, we have one and one-third cups of packed brown sugar in here. Okay? Put that in there. There's our brown sugar. I also have vanilla. I'm going to put me one teaspoon of vanilla in here, okay? One teaspoon. There we go. Teaspoon of vanilla in there, all right? And the last thing we're going to add in here is I have two eggs. So, break us a couple of eggs. I'll break them in my bowl so I won't have an accident and get shell in my dough, right? Okay? Two eggs going in. Now, we're going to beat that together. Get that all stirred up together good. Get my trusty little spatula and get this stuff out of my way, y'all. This is easy to make if you go ahead and have all your stuff ready, right? That's what takes a while is just getting everything put together. It always is on these recipes. If you go ahead and get it all set out, your measurements and everything, then you can just whoop that booger out, right? I like to do it that way. Saves me a lot of time. So, all right. I'm going to turn it up a little bit now that it's... I just don't want to sling banana everywhere on me. I want to make sure that my banana is um, stirred up in there really good, that there's not any little chunks of it, right? Mmm. That smells wonderful, y'all. Old-timey. This is... You know, I realize it's summer, and I'm in here making, you know, banana nut bread with cranberries and nuts in it or whatever and stuff, but hey, you know, it's good with a cup of coffee. I still drink my coffee in the morning, right? Get you one of these muffins or something, or do the little loaves like I'm doing. You can do either way with this if you want to. If you want to make muffins with it, you can do that. And your temperature would be the same. I just, you would watch your time, I believe, on it. Let me check this out. Okay. I believe we're looking good there. All right, now, what I'm gonna do is turn this on very low so that I don't have a dust cloud going off on me. But we're gonna take this and we're just gonna put this, add this to this, add your flour to your Add your dry ingredients to your wet ingredients just a little bit at a time, right? Get me something, see if I can kind of spoon it off in there a little bit. Kind of like that, right? Just let it kind of mix up slowly and get all blended. And all we're gonna do is mix it until we get, uh, make sure there's no lumps in it. That's all you gotta do there, right? A little bit at a time on it. This is good stuff, y'all. And it's definitely, you know, an old timey taste. And y'all know how I feel about that. All right. There we go. The last of our dry ingredients. Okay. Let me scrape my bowl.
You always have to do that, especially with these uh, stand mixers like this. Like I say, I think that's the one flaw in the way they make them is that uh, your ingredients will be down in the bottom and your little beater can't get to it good. But other than that, they're worth a million bucks. They sure save you a lot of, lots of, lots of mixing, hand mixing. And they do a great job too. Okay, put that back on there. We're gonna mix it a couple more times. You don't want to over mix it though, right? It'll make your bread tough. That's good, right there. Okay? Now. <laughs> Tally fake miss. Tally fake miss. Had to do it, y'all. Wouldn't be right without it, right? Okay. Get it off of here. Yeah, that's what it... There it is, y'all. Okay. Like I say, I don't know how many of these little loaves it'll make for me. It might make like two nice ones and one smaller one. But either way, that's we're going to try it out and see on... Um, how many of those little loaf pans it'll make. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna do, y'all, like I say, I've got a half a cup of my craisins here. I'm gonna take them and a half a cup of my chopped walnuts. All right, and we're just gonna stir those in because we don't wanna beat it anymore, like I said. We're just gonna get these stirred in now. Get them distributed out through there good where you get a bite of each one in there and every bite, right? Or at least almost every bite. Okay. I got them stirred in there, y'all. Let me get our little pans over here. Tell you what I'm gonna go ahead and do is get my cookie sheet out. Set my pans on it. All right. Uh-oh. There we go. Got them set on there just like that. Now, everything's stirred in there. I wanna make sure All right, I'm just gonna, can't, I hope you can see. I'm just gonna do a little bit in two of them to start with. I may just get two out of it, y'all, but that's fine. Yeah, I think I'm gonna just do two, because I want them to be, I want them to puff up and be at least nice size, right? Where you got you a nice little slice of it. Yeah, it'll make two of these small pans. That's what it's gonna do. I bet this ends up would make, you know, one of those about, one of those 24 count muffin pans, probably. I don't know, maybe not that many. Let's see. This one looks like I got a little bit more in it than the other one. I'm gonna, I want them to try to be a little more even as much as possible. There we go. That's just cause I want it that way. That don't mean it has to be like that. All right, take your spatula and smooth it out like this, right? Okay, now the last thing we're going to do is we're going to take them and I just have some brown sugar here and you take 
the brown sugar and you sprinkle it on top of your loaf or your muffins, all right? Sprinkle it all over them and it just however much you want to put on there, okay? There's no, it just says sprinkle some brown sugar on there. And that's what I'm doing. I'm going to sprinkle it on there. This was a third of a cup that I had here. If you just kind of wanted to know how much I went for on it, right? Okay, there it is. That's how easy that was to stir up, y'all. My oven is on 350. We're going to bake these little boogers for about 50 to 55 minutes, probably. You'll have to start checking it, you know. I have the smaller pans, and like I say, I know muffins will be different, right, uh, on your time. But these are the two smaller pans, so it may not take that long, but it, it may. Anyway, I'll try to remember to let you know on that, but we're going to get them in the oven, get them baking, and we'll see how nice they turn out and yummy. Okay? Cranberry banana nut bread. See you in a little while.